Hi everyone! Today's sew along is for a great bomber jacket. It's fully lined and has a decorative faux zipper on the sleeve. The pattern is available free online at moodfabrics.com. I've left the link for you below so you can print it out and sew along with me today. Go ahead and subscribe so you're always notified when a new video is posted and make sure you check out my other sew alongs for more great sewing projects. Now let's sew the Avelia jacket. You will need two front jackets from fabric and from lining, two back jacket pieces from fabric and from lining, two sleeves from fabric and from lining, two zipper plackets, two self-drafted zipper facings measuring two inches by six inches, four rib knit bands, two rib knit collars cut on the fold, two rib knit cuffs, one separating zipper measuring roughly 25 inches, and one regular zipper about four or five inches. Let's create the stitching grid for our zipper using our self-drafted two by six inch pattern piece. Fold your pattern piece in half on the long edges to form a crease. Open it up and measure a quarter inch from both sides of the crease and mark. Also mark a line a half inch from both short edges. This gives us our stitching grid. I've pinned my stitching grid to the right side of my right sleeve and using tracing paper and a tracing wheel, I'm going to mark my grid. I'm going to do the same thing on one of my zipper facings. Now I'm going to place the facing on top of my sleeve markings. Both pieces are right side up and I'm going to pin them together so the rectangles are precisely on top of one another. Now take this to your machine and sew along your stitching guide. Slice open the middle of this box that you've created, right down the middle, but a half inch away from each of the short stitching lines. Now clip to but not through the corners of your rectangles. Now we're going to take all this excess fabric and flip it into the inside through the slit. Take it to your ironing board and give it a really good press. Now grab your short zipper and your remaining zipper facing and place your zipper along the middle of your facing and sew all the way around the zipper. I've sewn my zipper to secure it to the facing and now I've also additionally cut little tabs for either end of the zipper, measuring two inches by one and a half inches and I press them in half. I will align these with the short ends of the zipper facing and baste them in place. Now that it's basted, my faux zipper is ready to be placed into the sleeve. Place the right side of your zipper underneath your sleeve on the wrong side of the sleeve and center it in place and then pin. Now I'm gonna take it to my machine and I'm going to edge stitch all around the sleeve's rectangular opening. I've switched over to my zipper foot for this step. Now here is my faux zipper from the outside. Now set your sleeve aside and let's construct our lining. With your two back lining pieces right sides together, pin the center seam. Sew with a half inch seam allowance and press your seams open. Place your front lining pieces right sides together with the back lining piece and pin the shoulders and side seams. Now sew your shoulders and side seams with a one half inch seam allowance and press them open. Now fold your sleeve right sides together 
pin and then sew the side seam with a half inch seam allowance. Now it's time to set our sleeves into the bodice. With right sides together, start by matching your underarm seams and your notches and pinning. Now sew around your armhole for both sleeves with a half inch seam allowance. Now that my lining is complete, I'm gonna set it aside and follow the exact same steps for the construction of the main jacket, starting with sewing the seam for the back pieces. So go ahead and sew your seams, set in your sleeves, and I'll meet you back here. Now that the shells of our jacket and lining are complete, let's work on our rib bands. Place your two sets of rib bands right sides together and clip the short ends. Only clip these two short ends and sew with a half inch seam allowance. Now that you've sewn the sets of bands together, place them right sides together and clip one long edge and sew this long edge to join. Use a zigzag stitch or a serger and maintain your half inch seam allowance. Now that our band is joined together, we can attach it to the jacket. With right sides together, match your open band to the bottom of your jacket, matching the back seam and the center front seams. Now place your lining right sides together with your jacket, sandwiching the band in between. Match again your center back, center front seams, and pin all along the hem, stretching your band to fit. Now that we've pinned the lining to the jacket with the band in between, take it to your machine and sew through all layers with a half inch seam allowance. Now that our lining is attached, flip it up and push the lining sleeves through the main sleeves. Now we can start on our zipper placket. Place your placket pieces right sides together and pin along the curved edge all the way down and across the bottom. Sew these two edges at a half inch seam allowance. Now that it's sewn, I'll turn it right side out and give it a good press. With your zipper right side up, lay it on top of your zipper placket, aligning the zipper with the raw edge. Match up the bottom of the zipper to the bottom of the placket and pin all the way up. The zipper may be longer, it's okay for now. Take it to your machine and with your zipper foot, sew down the left side of your zipper from top to bottom. Now pin your placket, right sides together with the right side of your jacket, tucking it into your rib knit band, encasing it in there and matching the corner and pinning. I've unpicked my lining half an inch from the edge. This is gonna allow me to top stitch my lining to the front of the jacket at a separate step and give me a cleaner finish than what I'm seeing in the original pattern instructions. Pin everything but the lining piece and when we sew, don't catch this portion. Fold down your rib knit half an inch and pin. That will give us the beginning of our band enclosure when we go to sew that later on. Take this to your machine and sew with a half inch seam allowance along your original zipper stitching line. So now I've sewn on my right zipper placket, tucking it into the cuff, enclosing the cuff with that half inch folded under. And I was careful not to catch this lining portion. Now I'm going to top stitch the edge of my zipper placket, catching the lining on the opposite side all the way to the top. Fold the edge of your lining half an inch under, aligning it with your stitching line, and pin all the way up. Now take it back to your machine, 
and top stitch your jacket close to the left zipper teeth along the edge of the jacket top to bottom. I'll be stitching about an eighth inch away from this new zipper seam, periodically checking underneath to make sure that I'm catching the lining. So now here is what my zipper looks like on the right side. Now separate your zipper and align the left side of your zipper tape with the left side of your jacket, the same way we did for the right side. Remembering to unpick your lining a half an inch away from the edge so that we can enclose the seam the same way we did on the other side. Align the edge of your zipper tape with the raw edge of your jacket, enclosing it in your rib band, pinning all the way up, and then stitching with your zipper foot. Once you've sewn your zipper, turn it under to the inside of the garment and roll your lining half inch and pin close to the zipper teeth. We're going to top stitch the left side of the jacket the same way we did on the right side. Now that my zipper is fully installed, I'm going to finish my bottom hem band, folding it up half an inch and pinning it just over the original seam so that when we stitch in the ditch on the other side, we're catching this side of the hemband. Now that it's all pinned, I'm gonna take it to my machine and stitch in the ditch all the way across. To shorten my zipper and create a new stop, here's what I did. I cut both zippers at the neck edge and using a needle and thread, I'm going to create a new stop. I'm going to hand sew around the uppermost zipper tooth many times to create a blockage. Once it's sufficiently sewn, go ahead and snip your thread. Do this for both sides of your zipper. Fold your cuff in half right sides together. Clip the edge. Take it to your machine and sew with a half inch seam allowance. Now that it's sewn, fold it wrong sides together and mark your quarter points on the raw edge. Also quarter the bottom of your sleeve. Now place the cuff right sides together with the bottom of your sleeve and clip. Matching your seams and pins. As you can see, the cuff is much smaller than the bottom of the sleeve, so you're going to stretch the cuff from clip to clip and it will fit perfectly, nice and eased in. So take it to your machine and attach the cuff to your sleeve. Now we're going to attach the lining to the cuff. Making sure that the underarm seam of your lining matches up perfectly inside your sleeve with the underarm seam of your main fabric. Place your arm into your main fabric sleeve, entering through your jacket at the neckline between the lining and the jacket. Pinch your lining and the cuff at the side seams. Hold it tight, pull it all out through the neckline. Now tuck your cuff back inside, Clip your lining to your jacket right sides together, sandwiching the cuff in between, matching your side seam. It's going to look like this, and you're just going to sew slowly all around the lining, pivoting from notch to notch until you sew all the way around. Take it to your machine and sew all around the lining with a half inch seam allowance. Now that the cuff is sewn, reach your hand through the outside of your sleeve and pull the lining through. Now we have a nice finished cuff with a nice enclosed lining. Now the last thing to sew is our collar. 
Place your collar pieces right sides together and pin all along the top curved edges. Sew with a half inch seam allowance. Now that it's sewn, turn it right side out and we're going to attach it to our neckline. Before we attach the collar to the neckline, take a moment to base the lining to the top of your jacket. Now clip one layer of your collar piece to your jacket matching center backs and center fronts. Take it to your machine and sew your collar to your neckline, stretching the knit neckband to ease it in. After your collar is attached to the main jacket, the last thing that we have to do is fold the raw edge of our remaining collar piece half an inch to the inside and place it just over our stitching line so that we can stitch in the ditch along the entire collar, catching the interior collar piece. Now that the inside of the collar is secured, take it to your machine and stitch in the ditch all along the neckline, periodically checking underneath to make sure that you're catching the neckband. And then you're all done with your jacket. Thank you for watching this sew along. Like, comment, subscribe, and join me for the next video. I'll see you next time.